Good morning, y'all. I'm Catherine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I sure easy DIYs, home decor on a budget, or encouraging my sister to create a form. Today we are gonna be diving into plants. All of my plants that you guys have seen from my last video of me, me DIYing plant pots, some of those plants have grown quite a bit and others have died. ones that are still alive have grown tremendously and I think it's time for me to repot them so for an example this ZZ plant she keeps growing like this one right here is a new stem so I'm gonna show you that the roots are popping out of here roots are literally out of the pot that I do know and have learned that when it's starting to look like this it is time for her to re get repotted I don't know if you guys remember this pot but I did a DIY on it because she's growing so long she doesn't have anywhere else to grow her roots are stuffed in there she keeps absorbing all the water quickly and I'm having to water her more but then she gets drained and that's how come you see this yellow and brown leaf the only way to combat the issue of all my leaves starting to turn yellow and brown and they just look weak I'm gonna have to repot her so we have had a major net problem for the last month or so and that's when I found out about fungus gnats oh my Jesus and that usually comes from overwatering so I've just my mindset has just changed a ton this pot though it was much shorter than this I actually just put it back in this room so this office does not get direct sunlight like our sunroom does and then this one is a new one we're at the Houston Garden Center right now all of the plants that they have are half off and I was not expecting that I really didn't expect them to have anything honestly and of course some of the plants are dying or they're dry just because it's winter time, but I'm so excited to just rebirth it, bring it back to life. So I think I'm gonna get a cacti and a monsteria because those are two that I really, really want. I got this one from our nursery and it was horrible. It's quite small, but I literally had to um, clean her up, snip at her, repot her. So she's a lot better and clean than when I originally bought her. Ever since I've been taking care of them, I have seen like a lot of new growth and I'm so proud of myself. Small fiddle leaf is growing leaves. I've never seen this before. I'm so proud of myself. The fact that I'm even seeing leaves growing and it was all trial and error. This is my birds of paradise. Most people go on Christmas shopping the day before Christmas Eve and I am buying plants. <laughs> this leaf is starting to open from the first day that I got it. Christmas Eve every day she opened up just a little bit more I have her in front of the living room there's also a new one I got a new monstera y'all and she is a larger than life look at her so I actually picked this up from our grocery store HEB that's here in Texas and it was only $15 super beautiful a lot of new leaves I know is gonna be just a amount of time before I have to repot her but she's gonna be on a whole different day because I want to be super gentle with her my snake plant I also got on Christmas Eve and absolutely love her she's quite large so I don't think I'm gonna repot her just yet because I do not want her to grow even larger but she is very simple to take care of I highly recommend as your first house plant y'all why does he always look like he up to something I cannot with them. So y'all, I was gonna show you what I've done. I think I've done a pretty good job keeping majority of these plants alive and learning from them. You are curious. My entire outfit is from Target. This shirt is actually my favorite because it has all the cactuses on there. The perfect thing for what we're doing today. And then these are high waist denim and they are a size four. I will link them down below for you guys if you're interested. One of the first things I do before buying a new pot is I measure the current pot that I have because I have learned that most pots, preferably ceramics, do not have the size on them. And I usually go up one or two inches and I write down the plant, the pot size that I currently have, the size that I need to go to, and I bring that list with me. 
So we are gonna go to the store. First place is probably gonna be Target. We're gonna go there first. <laughs> Target did not have any plant pots. Area where there's usually gardening is back to school and stuff. Caught me off guard because it is July. And think about that when I came out that a lot of stores are going to be switching out their summer to back to school fall items, which I can't even believe I'm even saying that right now. <laughs> so we are at the store at home. Anybody should have them, they should have them because this store is like a Sam's Club, but for home decor. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're coming out with Halloween stuff already. I'm so excited. Wanted one of these bowls for the kids. <laughs> so this is much harder than I thought it would be just because there's so many large pots, but there aren't many small pots. And because my monstera is growing downwards, I need to find something that is gonna lift it. I mean, I could put it up on something, but I was probably looking for like a stand so that she can grow even longer. My last stop in Hope was Lowe's. I ended up going there and got distracted and found this section of succulents and cacti, and they just so happen to have 25% off, so I picked up one of them. It is so hot outside, but I feel successful. I end up going with the plastic pots, training plant pots, so that I can do more with it. That was 25% off of all cacti and succulents. So that plant was originally $6, $6.20 something. I got it for $5. And in total, everything came out to be like $13. The piece of a cacti already fell off. I really need to figure out a way how to drive with plants in your car without them falling over. Just picked it off the ground and brought it back up here. If I can propagate it just like this, I am gonna do that. <laughs> Oil. And then some fungicide, which I originally used, but doesn't have neem oil in it. Oh shoot, I did not know, all right now. I did not know that this detaches. Literally got the scissors over here, okay. So yeah, this is beginner friendly. This is what you need. Because I was literally gonna poke holes through here, so once I plant it, I can just water it. But it literally gives you a little tray that you can put this back on top of. Yeah, y'all see how dry this is? is the water to drain. Water coming out the bottom. So I'm just gonna let her sit here and drain. If I can be completely honest, I do not know if this Swiss cheese will come back to life. This is another trial and error and just watch what it does. But after I repotted it, I decided to trim her and propagate two stems so that I could get another opportunity to grow another Swiss cheese. But I decided to cut all the yellow and brown off, clip her ends, clean her up and groom her. So she's much shorter, but I think she's gonna grow stronger. From what I've seen, so far since editing this video is that she has propped up in the last two days. Really excited to see her growth and her comeback alive because she's such a beautiful plant. I think I just didn't realize how fast she would grow. Area root is actually underneath the water. It's important to have it submerged inside of the water so that the roots can grow. And I mean, just how cute is this in here? So I have them in their vases and I'm really excited to see the roots start to form. I never thought I was capable of doing something like this or even learning something like this because I didn't grow up with grass around our apartment. 
Just like anything that sits around for a long period of time, it collects dust. And you frequently want to wipe your plants off because it blocks sunlight, which plants need to feed itself and grow. So I just take a damp towel and wipe my plants off gently. So this is a new cacti I just got in the last week. The barrel cacti, this bunny ear cacti. So rule of thumb, you don't wanna repot your plant the same day you get it. Give it some time to get acclimated to your home before repotting it. So I'm actually gonna save this little project for the weekend. So with these added to my plant collection, I have a total of 13 plants. These being propagated, this is going to make 14 15 plants in total. <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> so this is day two and I can already see how strong these leaves are versus when I first cut them, they were very weak, but they're already stronger and much larger. I hope this video was helpful and not intimidating showing you how far I've come and all the mistakes that I've made and continue to make. I am no expert. It's a hobby that I picked up over the last year and I became so intrigued by plants. It's something that I wanted to know more about and that required a lot of trial and error, researching, reading, asking questions, watching videos. I had to leave you with three tips. House plants all require something different and they will always tell you what they need. Two, you will have house plants that die. They're gonna die, but just don't give up. And three, take good care of them, and they will always make your home beautiful. So happy that I was able to get to my plants and repot them at least. I'm finding that taking care of my plants is a self-care mechanism for me is something that I enjoy. I really enjoy it when they're green. I enjoy cleaning them up, watering them, taking really good care of them. And it helps me just to slow down. I can take my time. I can give them the attention that they need and the maintenance that they need. So that is all for my videos. Thank you guys so much for being here. And as always, y'all, I will talk to you later.